much I, I really got into that. I don't have a big scoop for you. Crow Cop is out. He's out, and the show must go on. And they said it's because of an injury, and it wasn't disclosed uh, that I read. I, I haven't heard. We'll probably find out in the next uh, few minutes. Yeah. I, I would imagine, yeah. And I felt bad for him, too. You know, Crow Cop making his debut in Bellator, main event, big opportunity. Rematch. Trained hard. I mean, I saw some pictures. He looked great. Uh, rematch, sure. Roy Nelson was also looking to get back on the horse after that Mitrion thing, and there was some talk. I don't know if it ever became solidified, but there was some talk that the winner of this match would be an alternate uh, oh, for the tournament. Oh, okay. That's smart. Okay. There was talk of that. I don't know if it was clarified, but my point is there was some opportunity here. There was two guys that were ready. I, I can't speak for Crow Cop. I don't have a personal relationship with him, but I do know that uh, uh, Roy Nelson is in England. I mean, he's been in England. Oh, yeah, he's ready to fight. Yeah, he might have got in at the very end of last week or, or Sunday or Monday of of this week. So, I mean, he's there, and now there's no fight. So everyone everyone in some ways, right, is I wanted to see the fight. Everybody loses in some ways. But the great part about MMA, we see this time and time again, we still have the world title on the line. We still, I mean, that's the one thing we always get with MMA is these promoters are started, smart enough to stack the card. They don't put all their chips in one basket. They spread it around. You elevate a guy. That quite frankly, in hindsight, definitely an argument should have been the main event anyway. An argument for sure. Musasi, world title, Carvalho. Mm-hmm. So there you are. Who does Nelson fight? Who do you think they're going to grab? Well, I don't think you can. I mean, I I know Coker well enough to know he's going to try, but put myself in his shoes. I'm in a foreign country. It's the week of the fight. I got to get a hold of Mazzulli to see who he'll even license on this short of notice, which at heavyweight, they will be a little more lenient because there's no weight cut traditionally. But there's just not very much time. And then, you know, Roy Nelson, not an easy guy to get, right? Pretty scary opponent. I just don't know what you would do. A, a likely suspect could be Czech Congo in a normal situation, but he just got out of the ring. He was in the ring last week? Or was it the week before? Yeah. I don't know who you turn to. You got most of your heavyweights tied up with this Grand Prix. I mean, I just, I can't. I'm trying to think. What what would I possibly do? And in a foreign country, and and then, do I want to just grab somebody? Do I want to do that? Or go? Well, nah. And you know, I kind of got a big deal here with Roy, and I promised him Crow Comp. Is it best to just shelf this, give everybody what they were promised, but do it at a different date? I mean, you have to balance those things. I don't know the answer. I was so, even. I was even. If I was big... to guess, I would say it's just off. Oh, uh, really? Okay. Uh, I would guess. I had an idea of bringing in maybe uh, kind of like Nelson, bringing in one of the the losers from the Grand Prix. So bring in maybe uh, Rampage or uh, King or Mo. King, King Mo. Just, yeah, he just he he's kind of fresh and ready to go, if you will. Uh, if just they, to throw him back in the cage just like that, pretty early. But to your point, though, I don't know that those matchups it, would happen. But to your point, I think if you were in America. On American soil, you might have a better opportunity. But when you start dealing with the UK, I mean, you could be dealing with visa issues. You could be, I mean, you're dealing with transportation and geographical problems if you're Scott Coker. I mean, what's a traditional thing to do if you're in Coker's spot? You grab another heavyweight on the card. There are no other heavyweights on the they're card. They're busy. <laughs> yeah, there, but there's no other heavyweight fight on the card. That was the one and only heavyweight fight. So you can't look within your own card, which is where you always look at first. Okay, you've been training. You knew about your opponent changed, but you know at least you knew about this and your weights here and your medicals are all in and you're licensed. Eh, that option's gone. So I haven't even heard any rumors, and I don't want to start one now because in my best guess, and largely because of where it is in England, I don't think Roy fights. That's really sad. When yeah. was the last time you saw a canceled fight? Sure. Well, I mean, I, all the time. I mean, I see fights cancel all the time, but usually where they can preserve where, where they them, can, they can at least shuffle keep, the deck. They can keep that fight, if you will, in the time slot. Is yeah. What I'm saying. I've, I don't remember the last time I saw a fight cut sure. from the card. Yeah, I, I know what you're saying, and, and if I had a minute to think, I could get. But to your point, yeah, they usually can save them, but um. I think maybe the right thing to do, and it won't feel like it right now, people are going to feel disappointed, 
But I think maybe the right move for the long term is to just preserve that fight and just go ahead and do it on a different date. You know, I remind you that happened with Mitrione and Fedor. And they thought about, well, should we shuffle the deck and put someone at Fedor's here? And Fedor's been promised. And, and they just go, you know what? Fedor was promised, but he was promised against Mitrione. We've done the build. We've promised everybody. Anyone that wants a refund, you got it. But for anyone that's been holding out for that fight, just hold out a little bit longer and we'll get it together. So there is a, a side of that, too. And I would like to see Nelson and Krokop. I mean, I, I like oh, the sure. build-up. Yeah, I like the storyline behind that. I like the rematch behind it. So if i got to wait a little bit, don't feel too bad for me. I mean, we, as fight fans, we have been pretty lucky lately.